look what I'm picking up on the highway from some moron just driving down the highway with a big load of plastic that's just fallen all over the place. Good thing I brought this. Hey folks, so I still have plastic in my rear caliper as you can see and I got to clean that out. So in order to take your caliper off so that you can clean it and see what kind of plastic is melted to the pads, you have to uh, remove your rear wheel. So I've already started getting that ready and uh, it's one of the perils of uh, running into, you know, stuff that gets wrapped up in there. I really got to get rid of that plastic because my rear brakes really have gone to crap. So my suspicion is, is that the plastic is probably melted up against the pads and I'm gonna have to clean them up. Now the pads themselves are in good shape with wear, but I'm probably gonna have to clean them up a little bit. So let's keep going. Well, this explains a lot. A lot of this plastic right here is just literally solidified. And this is all jammed up between the pads and hung up inside the caliper. So I'm gonna clean this all up. Um, I could see some literally shining here on these. So I'm gonna rough this up a little bit, rough up the uh, actual disc itself and uh, put this thing back together. One of the other things you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that inside the caliper you don't have any damages, there's nothing else hung up in there. As you can see, there's some white stuff in there if you look kind of dead center. I'm gonna clean that out. That is also some melted plastic. We wanna make sure this is completely clean and can move. All right, so I just roughed these up and believe it or not, these grooves actually were full of plastic. So I'm gonna, Get that out and those grooves are necessary because that's what's going to be allowing the brake dust to escape so it doesn't accumulate on the pad. So let me get those cleaned up and we can start putting this stuff back together. All right, so we are all cleaned up. A little bit of brake clean on there to get off any further dust or grease. They're a little bit roughed up, in good shape still, good thickness, and let's continue. Well, all done all put back together. In order to do this, you do have to take the rear wheel off. The rear wheel is back on. The plastic is all removed as you saw, the brake pads. And I went and get, did this thing a test ride and I'll tell you what, my rear brakes are fantastic now. Uh, really good. It's, it's hard to believe when I hit all that plastic coming off that truck on um, Route 10, uh, this Interstate 10, in I think it was in Louisiana. There's this oh, stuff all, I, there's a short about this, but anyway, this is all cleaned up. This is all put back together, gave it a test ride, and uh, I actually have rear brakes now. So that's it.